I think this is the first time on this property that there's more machines that actually run than don't run. How cool is that? So it's kind of a monotonous part here, you know, I just want to get it loaded and done, but just uh, still picking and crunching, picking and crunching. I want to get that wall off of the fence there because it's right on the property line. I don't really like that, but there's a fence holding it up right now. But I can't, I gotta work my way over there. And maybe I'm gonna have to pull this whole thing this way. I think it'll bring that wall with, hopefully. But I'm kind of just scheming on if I could kind of walk the excavator up a little bit on this junk. Try 
carpet. Got a couple bedrooms worth right there. <clears throat> not sure if I'm gonna fit it all in or not, but don't matter. We got a plan for the rest, what little bit's left. I thought about doing like some guys said, take the end off and drive it in, but to me it just, just ain't worth it. There's the steel frame that I yanked out right there. And I try to smash it once more here on the way down. change of plans uh, one of our excavator viewers said that the uh, skid steer and grapple is probably the best tool for this so I'm going to just try to peel as much junk off of the steel frame as I can uh, Curtis is making some room back there as usual it's a problem because we got a, the last steel frame in the way so he's going to try and pull that out of the way and I'm going to pull all of this garbage off and try and get this steel frame out of here. And then uh, come in with the grapple and finish loading here, whatever we got left for room. So that's kind of the new plan right now. See, we got uh, Ron's truck here. I can't go anywhere with this frame here, so... I'm pretty sure he'll be able to pull it with that thing out into that nice brand new clean field we got opened up. There we go.
pulling this out. I, I kind of like this idea. We'll see how it works out, but I think it'll work out pretty good. So the good news is that frame is out. <clears throat> now this is all just junk left. Looks like we won't quite fit it all in. I know a couple of bricks are in it, but it's just how it is today. So here's a almost getting close to done look. Dumpster's full, packed down. I'm just going to take the skid steer here and try and make a halfway decent pile. Yeah, I know we got a few bricks in here, but time is of the essence. So this mess here, I'm going to try and get a decent pile. See if I can pull them walls back in here. place Curtis still a little bit of a mess but wow it's clearing out got two mobile home frames right here all right here we are uh, two two and a half hours later give or take 
the double wide is disintegrated. Got some hand picking here to do yet, but this is our leftover pile. It's partially crunched. We would love to burn it. We're going to look at our options yet for this pile. Let's go look at the other side here. We actually left less of a mess this on this one than the first one. Most of this were down a hand picking here or a tractor rake, which by the way, if you got a YouTube channel and you got a, a Harley, not a Harley rake, a whatever, them tractor rakes and you wanna come and do this, collaborate with us, let me know, because it won't be too much longer. That, that big one there is just about ready to go. Tires are all new, they, they all roll, they got everything disconnected. Uh, we got these two steel frames here, they, they're going to chop down next. And of course a little more cleanup. And then there's a couple of big trees, you could see them sticking up on the back side. I got to yank them out of in front of that big single wide. But huge, huge progress again.